Welcome to 2045. You've just stepped inside Madrid Nuevo Norte, a 2.7 million square meter land of zero emissions and sustainable bliss right in Madrid's heart. 10,500 housing units, numerous office towers, retail and leisure spaces all pivoting around a central 400,000 square meter green axis of parks, playgrounds and gardens. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now back to the present. This is Operación Chamartín, aka Madrid New North, one of the most ambitious urban regeneration and development projects in the works at the moment, with a projected cost of around 8 billion euros. After years of discussions and criticisms, the project is finally underway, starting from an almost blank canvas. Its goal? To breathe life into Madrid's forgotten urban areas, turning the city's northern rail station district into a sustainable living area and covering the blank gaps made by the current railway tracks. How are they planning to do that? Let's go through all the project details and see why Madrid Nuevo Norte is such an impressive endeavor. Number 1. Sustainable Mobility The way people move from one place to another can significantly influence the quality of their lives. Providing accessible, adequate and flexible mobility solutions will definitely maximize economic productivity and lead to better community life. And so, at the heart of the Madrid Nuevo Norte project stands an innovative mobility network that will feature safe pedestrian routes peppered with ground floor retail spaces. In a word, everything you need on a daily basis will be within walking distance. Madrid Nuevo Norte will also include 13 kilometers of cycle paths connected with the Madrid Green Cycling Loop and the Colmenar Viejo Cycle Path. A new metro line will run along the entire project area, while the railway network will include a new station. The public transport network will be completed by a modern bus rapid transit system with traffic light priority. Four ultra-modern transport hubs will provide access to all the metro, intercity buses and trains. Moreover, the airport will be less than 15 minutes away. The Chamartin station will represent the crown jewel of the Madrid Nuevo Norte mobility infrastructure. With a state-of-the-art design, the railway station is set to be a true architectural icon of the city of Madrid and the center of an ultra-modern urban lifestyle. But besides its visual appearance, the Chamartin station will also represent a convergence point where all of Spain's high-speed trains will meet. An underground transport interchange hub will be built near the station to help bring together all all of the city's modern transport lines. It sounds brilliant, don't you think? Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next project detail, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on new and exciting billion dollar builds. Number 2. The Green Sanctuary Madrid Nuevo Norte will be a green oasis of parks and green areas so people can reconnect with nature. The main green space will be the Nuevo Norte Central Park, covering 13 hectares of natural bliss. The green spaces will flow along the Madrid Nuevo Norte in what is known as the Green Artery, a network of parks interconnected with one another with the sole purpose of creating a balanced and clean environment for the future Madrid Nuevo Norte citizens. The green artery will cover the urban area from north to south, bringing a kind of green continuity and converging with the iconic hills, El Pardo and Madrid's future metropolitan forest. The new will engage in a delicate dance with the old, as two chapels conserving exquisite latticework and original wooden ceilings, a few centuries old, will serve as the focal points of the new parks. Number 3. The Central Business District Madrid Nuevo Norte will also be home to one of Europe's most significant business centers. According to the project officials, the central business district will include 348 office buildings, three of which will be skyscrapers. In total, the capital city of Spain will gain 1.5 million square meters of office space. The high-end office buildings will be strategically placed next to the ultra-modern transport hubs, prioritizing a healthy work-life balance in a sustainable place. The project is ambitious, aiming at making Madrid a nerve business center of Europe, attracting numerous companies and keeping in line with the newest innovation trends in the workspace. Number 4. The Housing 
Approximately 10,500 new housing units will be built as part of the Madrid Nuevo Norte project. Madrid Nuevo Norte will be a residential area of the highest standard, where living spaces will harmoniously coexist with offices, leisure facilities and proximity commerce for a healthy work-life balance. Number 5. Public Facilities Madrid Nuevo Norte will include all the essential public facilities of an urban community, education, healthcare, sports, and landmarks. 250,000 square meters worth of schools, social and cultural centers, health facilities, and sports clubs will respond to the needs of the Madrid Nuevo Norte population. Moreover, the community of Madrid plans to build an art center that could compete with the size and fame of the London Barbican Center. In the future neighborhood next to the Chermartin station, they will build two schools with a capacity of a thousand students each and one science institute. Number 6. Retail Spaces Madrid Nuevo Norte will be the place where ground floor shops and neighborhood commerce are reborn. As part of the project philosophy and vision, people need to be able to get out and interact with each other. As a result, 90% of all the housing and office units in Madrid Nuevo Norte will have adjacent retail spaces on ground level. Prioritizing ground floor shops over department stores will boost local businesses, encouraging local economic activity and the traditional neighborhood shopping model. In a way, this is part of Madrid's original urban spirit, isn't it? Number 7. The Streets of Madrid Nuevo Norte Any urban area is as good as its streets. Connecting the different neighborhoods and interest areas is crucial for any metropolitan area. In fact, the backbone of the whole Madrid Nuevo Norte project is its network of traffic junctions and transport hubs. If we look at the project's map, we will notice large north-south axes and main streets ideally linking the city together. Historically, Northern Madrid has been split by its rail tracks. The new Nuevo Norte project aims to build a series of structures to heal those gaps. It will have three bridges, the Santo Domingo de la Calzada, Herrera Orilla, and Malmea, a tunnel for road traffic and a pedestrian and cyclist footbridge to connect the whole urban area. The whole area is enjoyable just by looking at it. The green regions flow beautifully with each other. The green corridor connects the city with El Monte del Pardo, the Mediterranean forest within the community of Madrid, and one of the best preserved green areas in Europe. It looks like an urban regeneration almost too good to be a reality. Surely, a project of this magnitude must come with certain challenges, and it does have its share of criticism. Number 8. The Public Reactions The Madrid Nuevo Norte project was actually conceived in 1993 by the state-owned rail transport enterprise and the Ministry of Development. Landowners fought long and hard against the expropriation that the project entails, resulting in a 15-year long and dreary legal process. The project then went through different governments and numerous talks. It has been revisioned and rethought. In 2019, the project was finally approved with unanimous support from all parties involved. In 2020, it was registered with LEED and BREEAM, two important certification programs related to sustainability in urban planning. Some public voices criticized the project for being a private venture rather than work done for the public. Other critics fear that the project will create an even more considerable income disparity within the region. However, in general, Madrid Nuevo Norte is considered an important urban project for the future of Madrid and Europe, helping Spain catch up with the other major European capitals, like London or Paris. What do you think? Will this project help Madrid become an economic and cultural force in Europe? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more billion dollar builds.